I'm Miss Harder in first grade from Palm Crest, and today I will show you how to subitize. Subitizing is instantly recognizing a quantity without having to count. So in first grade, students are shown quick look cards like this. They are shown each quick look card for a few seconds, and they're asked to identify the number of dots and describe how they composed or decomposed the number. So in the beginning of first grade, students are shown a card like this. And some students may identify the five dots as something they've seen from a dice. Some students may recognize these four corners and one in the center. So they're adding four plus one. Other students may add two from the top, two from the bottom, and one in the center. So they're adding two plus two plus one is five. Then students move into the 10 frame, which looks something like this. So when students are identifying seven dots, um, one student may identify five plus two. Some students identify the dots horizontally and some students identify it vertically. So other students may be looking at a group like this, a group of four and a group of three and adding four plus three. When students are counting on to subtract, Students may recognize these three that are empty boxes right here, and they may identify that three less than 10 is seven. By the end of first grade, students should be able to subitize within 20. So in a double 10 frame like this, some students may start with the whole 10 frame and add 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. Other students may be counting by fives, so five, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. And again, some students may recognize the grouping. So 10 at the top plus this, they may identify as six, especially when we move into doubles. So 10, 16, 17, 18. And there is still two empty at the end. So if a student is subtracting, they would subtract two from 20 and get 18. Subitizing helps students compose and decompose numbers in multiple ways and helps establish a student's understanding of place value by relating numbers to 10.